Welcome to the Crypto Wig YouTube channel. Uh, if you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And also, if you can go down into the video description and find the link to the Discord server. Uh, as you can see on the screen right now, I've actually set up a, a Discord server that's specifically related to Tomb. Um, if you can go and join that if you're interested, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, in there, there's uh, a just general chat so you can uh, discuss anything that's uh, a pressing matter as far as your own portfolio. Uh, it gets the announcements from the actual main channel. Um, there's uh, suggestions for uh, trading if you want to follow along with my trades. Uh, there's YouTube videos, uh, Twitter links, any important screenshots. Uh, link to my spreadsheet, the mediums uh, that are released will all be uploaded into here, um, as well as some of the, the strategies that will be populated into here as and when uh, they are created and shared by other people. So yeah, moving on from there, so this video is going to be about where and when should I enter uh, the tomb ecosystem so we're playing this as though we're starting from scratch and we don't own any tomb whatsoever uh, so how would you enter and when would you enter and what price is a good point to enter so this is a, a long-term uh, graph that you can see here um, and it shows the all-time high as well as the like recent low and sort of anything before this area is not really relevant because uh, that was well before the project was actually established uh, going all the way back into like the hack and before really it had uh, established any kind of like price grounds uh, so coming back over into the the relevant history here we've got the all-time high there um, and then we've got the recent low here. Now, this low was potentially caused by a, a, either a liquidation or just one individual exiting the market. So really you can take the low as being more around the um, 2800 area there. So realistically, um, the low is around a 32% drop from where we currently are in phantom terms and the high is around uh, 10,600 however realistically the sort of area that we like to sort of operate in is somewhere around here uh, up to up to there really so you've got this this sort of range between 72 percent profit from the current price all the way up to a 112 percent profit if you was to uh to hold out all the way up there uh, not now obviously that's if you're planning on trading it uh rather than just buying in and then just receiving the staking rewards so what i'd be looking at doing is deploying 50% of my capital at the current price and then deciding on how many other positions I'd like to try and enter at so let's say you wanted to do another five positions um, this would obviously be your bottom most entry um, and then you would try and pick positions based upon previous resistance and support areas so I will draw one in here um, so 30, 38.60 is there because of these two candles around this area here um, you're more than likely going to try and enter around about there as well from the top and the bottom of these two candles um, and that's not too far away from the 4,000 mark. So you probably would enter around there too, uh, based off of this area around here. Um, and then other than that, so you've got 
a few p positions there where you could enter and coming further down you're probably looking around 3500 mark and then again around the 3200 mark so once you've picked out a few areas of interest where you plan on entering the market uh, for your dollar cost averaging if you've purchased your initial 50 percent here that's then going to protect you against a massive upward movement uh, which obviously if you was to wait to try and capture these all the way down here you might never enter the market so that's why i say you deploy 50 percent immediately and then save the rest to enter uh, as as the market potentially pulls back not saying that it will pull back that's just how i would strategize to try and enter the market um so you you'd then decide how much you want to deploy on each one of these blue lines um and then just just keep buying in until you run out of capital uh, now that's more than likely going to happen before we actually uh we're, we're, we're more than likely going to reverse and go up before we actually get back down to this area here um, however, it, it totally depends on what the uh, market's doing, so uh, I like to try to um, position myself so that in the worst case scenario, which would be coming back down to here, like I say, we're, we're ignoring this one because this was a bit of a rogue candle here, um, I, would, I would try to position myself so that I have enough funds that I could uh, capitalise on, on this uh, movement down here if that was actually to happen uh, which is fairly unlikely uh, so yeah I hope that answers the question as to should I enter now uh, and if I am going to enter now how would I enter now uh, obviously that only uh, talks about the t-share side of things you have to bear in mind that there is also the uh, tomb phantom LP side of things um, which I would highly recommend um, being a part of uh, that side of things as well as the t-share the side of things having a, a balanced portfolio in any case is always going to be uh, beneficial so that way when the uh, peg is below 1.01 1 .01, uh, you will still be getting paid uh, rather than being stuck with uh, a load of t-shares that are no longer doing anything that are decreasing in value um, so realistically um, we're not that far away from like the sort of recent high but we are currently in a sort of upward trend um, which is counter to the sort of downward movements that we've been having so potentially we see a, a nice upward movement to uh, move back up to this sort of downward trend line that we have been seeing uh, before we start coming back downwards again but realistically technical analysis doesn't necessarily apply to um, a uh, coin which is specifically for staking because the fundamental side of things massively outweighs the technical analysis side of things now you can use it to look for entries and exits but the uh, fundamentals of the project are what's going to drive the price more so than technical analysis so if this use uh, this video has been useful as i said at the beginning um, there is a discord channel if you've got any questions uh, that way I can better support you than uh, just going through the YouTube channel because uh, that gets very difficult to actually track and answer to individuals questions uh, like I say on here there's um, a, a history going through of um, the trades that I've recently made and how I strategize entering and exit in the market uh, which this will all be uh, talked through in more detail in a different video. Um, like, subscribe, comment um, if you appreciated the video and uh, thanks and I'll see you next time.